Chaga. All right, let me go to Platu now. Platu, Platu. Are you ready for Platu? Are you ready? Make some noise. Now listen, 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 listen. Listen now. It goes like it says. such an odoniferous human being. Secondly, what has come over you? Why are you doing this to us? You never admit to anything you do. How come? You spent half a million from the two million naira profit we got. Yet, you cannot give an account of what you did with the money. What kind of stupid extravagance was that? Extravagance, you say? Your father is the king of this kingdom, yet this kingdom was in such destitution before my father, his royal majesty, the one and only Eze Ojadike, stepped in and rescued it. If he didn't, where would you and your poor old man be? On the morning, your swallowing like a babu came as a contract from my father's kingdom, not as a birthday present from your father. <laughs> Charles. My beautiful name. You, you seem to develop a memory loss at will. Because you seem to have forgotten that this same contract came to this kingdom through my father's influence. So next time, when you open your silly mouth to talk to me, have that at the back of your mind, Charles. Rubbish. They didn't train you well. Don't even have one single respect. That's why I can't talk to anybody anyhow. But one day, I am going to squeeze that mouth so hard. I am going to squeeze it so hard. Very hard. Silly. Mm. I keep wondering the kind of man and husband Prince Charles is. This woman is literally controlling him. 
Is this how he's going to rule this kingdom when the king dies? Reformer, you talk a lot. Prince Charles is an astute leader, but his wife, reckless and mannerless. Isn't it obvious she sports milk and buttered child? You don't expect the well-nurtured and mannered prince to share in that lunacy. Hey! Come out there! Come out! Street urchins! So out of all the things there are to do in this palace, what you both do is just sit around and gossip. You like to poke nose into other people's businesses, right? Both of you. No! No! You both will kneel there, come rain or shine, till nightfall or whenever I feel like it. Idiots! Vagabonds! Dirty pigs! How dare you! Stay there till I come back. Animals! Idiots! Look at them! Vagabonds! Street auctions! Mannerless idiots! Welcome, my prince. Welcome, my prince. I guess this is Pamela's handwork, right? You guys are not talking again. All right. Rise and go back to your duty post. My prince, please. We can't. I said rise! My prince, please, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We do not want any more trouble. She said we are going to be here till night falls. Please, I beg you. Let's leave it that way. Please. I see. I will see to that. What's wrong? Have you been at home? Of course I've been at home. I just came back now. I ran into a former and Adogo, kneeling down under the hot sun, sweating. For what? Why? <laughs> Who else? If not your, your Queen Elizabeth. Who else? Pamela nailed them down under the hot sun. Why? I don't know. Did you free them? I tried to free them. But they refused to be freed. They said she asked them to kneel till nightfall. What nonsense. I don't know. Let's see yourself. <laughs> that was just a total madness. What was he expecting when he married about 35 women from 35 different tribes? I can imagine the kind of... Uh, what zone he has turned his house into. How do they even feed that five women? Plenty children. <laughs> I, somehow, Dad. Yeah. You see, King Gezu had 150 children and 300 grandchildren. Feeding wasn't an issue. I mean, he was, 
He had wealth inestimable. <laughs> that this is just a total madness. <laughs> What's the problem? Who is chasing you? Talk now, who is chasing you? What is it? Who are you? How dare you budge into my palace in this manner? My sincere apologies, Your Majesty. Oh, Detective Charles. My prince, it's good to see you. What's going on? This is my wife. This woman here drives too recklessly. We need her license seized and her car impounded immediately. How dare you? Do you even know who you're talking I about? I don't give a freaky care about who the hell you are, woman. You ran over a child of seven years old. And you stand before me here to brag about your ID? Like I care. Now you listen to me. Oh my God. Would that have surfaced if we lost the poor boy? Pamela, you ran over someone again today? <laughs> Bravo. This has suddenly surged my interest over this case. She does this all the time, Your Majesty. I'm sorry she has to come with us. Mm. Detective. Your Majesty. The lady you want to take away to your station is the wife of the crown prince of this kingdom. The only daughter of the great and mighty King Ojadike. You do not want to incur the wrath of her father. This sounds pretty good, Your Majesty, but nobody certainly is above the law. Not even the great king, Ojadike. Your Majesty, she has to come with us. Really? Excuse me, Your Majesty. Sean, sir. Fine, sir. I'm sorry, sir. All right, sir. We'll do just that. Well, detective, I guess you want to take her away now, right? The CP just called her will stand down and then retrieve back immediately. I told you. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Princess Pamela. This is certainly not the last straw. How dare you? Pamela! Don't you even dare! Come on, you Don't you! Eh? Well, um, Detective. Your Majesty. In your best interest, like the CP said, you better stand down. We will get words across, and the little child in question will be adequately taken care of. Don't you mind, Josie? That is not even important. Hey, hey, hey. Not now, Pamela. I am. I'm so sorry about that. Please. I'm sorry for that hot flower. Okay? That was too hot. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. Well, that, that, why do hey. you You too? What, your mind? I said shut up! How can I go? How do you put in a little more than a so You're slapping. Please! Please, what? Stop it! I you go, my like that. You will not see. So the man go more. So, Princess Adaka slapping people anyhow. What is what is, what is, what is, what is this? Pamela, we need to talk about this. Did we have any leftovers, Charles? You run over a boy. Your reckless lifestyle. Well, are they all enough left over? Judge and jury. Am I on a stand? 
Do you want to judge me? Has it ever occurred to you that you're royalty? Hmm? And for that reason, you are... Charles, I already know where all this is headed. And as it stands, I'm in no mood for an uncouth convo right now. I have my life to live. And so does 8 billion people on this Cosmo. So if you're planning on how to teach me to live my life, you better not. Pamela, the only reason you do all this is because my father refused to tell you how spoiled and unruled you can be. Well, your father is a bit wise. He knows that my father, the great king, or Jadike, will move heaven and earth just to make me happy. And your father also knows that both him and his kingdom will be nothing without my father. So Charles, please, enough. I've had too much for one day. What is the problem? Nem, are you still worried about this? I told you that you're Uncle has promised to Mama, help. Mama, Uncle, Okafo makes this promise all the time. But he never lifts a finger to help anyone. It just pains me that I have to drop out after all this. Let me see. Even if your uncle does not help you, I'm certainly sure that you must go back to school. I will do my best. I know, Mama. That is why I've decided to put everything behind me and just help you at the booker until we have enough resources for me to go back. I thought you said you will look for a better job that will pay you. How much do we make from the booker? No, I don't think it's the best option for you now. Don't worry yourself. I haven't changed my plans of looking for a better job. But for now, I will assist you at the booker. It's okay, my daughter. Everything will be fine. Trust me. Um, let me go to the market and buy some things. Maybe later you come to the shop and show me. No problem. Don't bother yourself. It's okay. Okay. Bye, eh? Daddy, see, you, you really need to give me a listen. Yeah, we need to talk. Charles, please. Daddy, why do you keep postponing this conversation? Why? It's all right. Let me grant you audience this time. Because I really cannot comprehend what is so itchy about what you want to tell me. Now you kept pestering me. Okay, all right. Uh, but on the face of it, I want to assume that uh, it has to do with the little bickerings uh, from your wife. I mean, it has to do with you and your wife. That is not about me and my wife. It's about my wife. You cherish, pamper, and spoil your daughter-in-law so much that what is this all about? That you don't even find fault in anything she does. 
even when she's doing the worst. Charles, if you have something of inestimable value, you safeguard that thing as if it is your very life. Dad, I know it's all about your relationship, your friendship with Dr. DK, but... You don't know what this is all about. But let me tell you something. Do you know you are very selfish? All you think about is yourself. You don't care the toll that your actions take on others. Father Luke, I know Pamela's father has done immensely for this kingdom. But that does not mean that the whole world will stand still because of that. This girl keep doing some stupid and crazy things. And you never find fault in whatever she does. You keep siding her. Charles, it is not every relationship that you toy with. Your marriage to this woman marked the beginning of good things in this kingdom. So if it takes um, your accommodating some of her bickerings, uh, insignificant, uh, infinitesimal actions that are sometimes I agree um, repugnant, I mean, you just take it. Dad, do you have to call slapping a policeman and running over people on the road infinitesimal? Do you have to... Enough. Enough of this. I don't want to hear anymore. to stay away from my issues. Ibube, and I have told you to calm down. You don't resolve issues with violence. By the way, what do you think you can do to her? I want her to tell me who gave her the right to empty hot pot of pepper soup on Chineye. Yes. Ibube, Chineye is still alive. That's the most important thing. Eh? You should be learning how to calm down now. Stop telling me to calm down. Why won't I tell you to calm down? Stop telling me to calm you down. You need to calm down. Because things like this, you don't you need to treat it with calmness. Not no, be, because it's not you that he, she poured that pepper soup on. You are telling me to calm down. I know it's not me, but then just be calming down. I've warned you to stay away from this issue. What is going on here? Huh? My prince, your wife, Princess Pamela, has pretty more than she can chew today. Hey, hey. Talk to me if you want to talk to me. Stop speaking about my wife in that manner. What happened? Uh, your wife, she emptied the uh, plenty hey, pot. I did not ask you. Allow everybody to talk. Sorry. Okay. My prince, the princess emptied hot pot of pepper soup on China. Yeah? What? She did that? Yes, my prince. Thank God she didn't die, but she sustained a lot of injuries. And she might also sustain more scars later. Where is Pamela? Where is she? She should be in her room.
Be careful. Okay, calm down. Okay. Come here. I'll just, I'll just empty this food on your head. I'll just empty this pepper soup on your head, wicked Jezebel. How dare you? How dare you pour that hot, hot food on, on, on that poor girl? How dare you? What's the meaning of If not for her, I'll just empty it on your face now. Yeah, try it! Try it! Bastard! Try it! Give your man enough, try it! Try it! Do it! Hey, what is going Do on it, Charles! What is going on here? Your Majesty. Charles, hit me. And now he's trying to pour this on me. Charles! Mm -hmm. How dare you? How dare you lay your hands on a woman? Daddy, you no, know, that's a lie. Prince Charles here never hits a woman. Were you here? Were you here? Daddy, this lady here emptied a hot pepper soup on Chine. I know the uncle. Hot pepper soup. Eh? Pamela. You did what? Dad, if not that I rushed the poor girl to the hospital, she would have died by now. And I know definitely she's going to sustain a scar she would live to see all the days of her life. All in the name of testing her food. Dad, this lady here 